All right, welcome again, everybody. If this is your first time to be part of this, you are part of one of our special programs so far. If you're on Facebook, I see people on Facebook, you're welcome. If you're on YouTube, you're also welcome to uh, be part of us. I see somebody saying they have a testimony, please. Ruth, I'll put you number one tomorrow, day two, all right? So, yeah, welcome. This is your first time. This is a community of Christian entrepreneurs and professionals from diverse countries and diverse industries. And we love Jesus Christ so, so much. And we have put him at the center of our careers and our businesses. And this is like part two of our retreat. We finished part one last week, which was a professional retreat, a five days professional retreat on strategy and career dominance and business dominance. And now we're doing a three days fasting and prayer the spiritual preparation for next year. This is a serious community and here we love success because we use success to advance and to contribute in advancing the agenda of the kingdom on earth, in the marketplace and anywhere we find ourselves. And I know that you will be blessed because this meeting has been organized by God for his purpose. And every December like this for three days, we take time to just pray and fast and for, for our next uh, um, coming uh, um, year. And uh, as I was praying for this meeting and asking God, what should I handle each day? This is your meeting, it's not mine. Uh, I'm just I'm just your servant. So what, what do you want to do? What do you want to do for day one, day two, and day three? And as I was praying, God gave me instructions. And day one, today we're looking at, we're praying around the theme, enforcing dominion heritage in 2024 enforcing dominion heritage in 2024. So we, today, this will be the center of our prayer point, enforcing our dominion heritage in careers, enforcing our dominion heritage in business, enforcing our dominion heritage financially. In every area of our lives, we are enforcing our dominion heritage so that as we enter 2024, we are dominating in all of those areas in the name of Jesus. And I'm going to exhort us shortly, give us a charge shortly, and then we are going uh, um, to pray. As you all know, in this community, I have taught us about the power of recognizing the Lord in everything that you do. I have said one of the most powerful ways to involve in your life, to involve God in your career, in your business, is to recognize him first in anything that you're about to do. It's to recognize him first when you are transitioning into a new season of it. When you recognize him, you say, oh, Lord, this is 2024. This is a new year. And the first thing I would is to put you first. The first thing I would do is to recognize you first. The first thing I would do is to lift up this year to you first before any other thing. When you involve God, when you enthrone God in your life, in your career, and make him first place, you begin to see the hand of God in your life. I have thought about the intentionality of enthroning God in all areas of your life, of enthroning the Lordship of Jesus Christ in anything that you do. And this is what we're doing. 2024 is a new year. And if you are going to see God in your new year, you need to enthrone him first in the place of, of, of prayers. And this is, as, as I've said many times in this fellowship, this is one thing that God taught me several years ago. I never transition into a new year just like that. No, I never transition into a new year just on the prayer night, not on the crossover night. No, this is for babies, that's for boys. One of the most prophetic months in the year is the, is the month of December. What you do in December and how you do in December will actually determine how your year will be like. One of the things I like to do in December is fast 
just in the last days of December till crossover, fasting and praying and praying for my, for my life, for my family, for my career, for my business, for everything. And I can tell you this, and this is not to brag, but to give glory to God. When I started doing that, I have never had a worst year. Every year is always from glory to glory. Every year I go to more countries. Every year I increase more in career. Every year I see things increasing different because there is no way you can be in God and you are decreasing. If you are genuine, you are authentic and you genuinely surrender. Does it mean that there'll be no problems? No, no, there will be problems. There will be problems, but the difference with you and other people is that you will overcome difference between you and other people is God will use those problems as a stepping stone to announce you. We use those problems to take you to the next level. Praise God. So that is why we wait upon the Lord and we begin to seek the face of God. Here is somebody. Many people uh, think that to find rest in a new year, many people do to think that to find rest in 2024 is to have all the money that they want. No, rest is beyond money. Rest is beyond you making all the money you think that if you make, you are going to be fine. You're going to be the happiest person on earth. No, no, no. Rest is beyond that. Hallelujah. And of course, our key verse, our key verse for, for today's prayer is Psalms 8 verse 6. The Bible says, you have made him to have dominion over the works of your hands and you have put all things under his feet. And remember, we are praying today on the theme, day one of our fasting and prayers, enforcing dominion heritage in 2024. And I was saying that many people get to think that to find rest in career, to find rest in business, to find rest in their life, it is to have all the money that they think that if they have, they will have rest. No, that is not true. Let me share you this from the parable of the wealthy fool. You know, there was a parable that Jesus Christ shared about the wealthy fool uh, from, from the book of Luke. And the Bible says that then he told them a parable saying, that was Jesus talking. He told them a parable saying, there was a rich man whose land was very fertile and productive. Like right now, your career can be fertile. Your business can be fertile. Your life can be very fertile. There was a man whose land was very fertile and productive, verse 17. And he began thinking to himself, what shall I do since I have no place large enough in store of my crops? Then he said, this is what I will do. I will tear down my storehouses and build larger ones and I will store all my grain and my goods there. And verse 19 says, and I will say to my soul, I will say to my soul, and that is that was a very bad statement to make. And I will say to my soul, soul, you have many good things stored up, enough for many years. Rest, relax, eat, drink, and be merry, celebrate continually. But God said to him, you fool, this very night your soul is required of you, and now who will own all the things you have prepared. So it is for the one who continues to store up and hold possessions for himself and is not rich in his relationship towards God. So this was a man who made so much money, let's say so, had so much in store and decided to say, oh, and was praising himself. He made a statement and said, I will say to my soul, I will say to myself, you have, you have many good things stored up. Instead of recognizing God, instead of returning the glory to God and say, Lord, all of these things you have blessed me with, what will you have me do? What is your agenda for this? What do you want to do with this? I give you all the glory for this. You, you gave me all of this and I return all the glory to him, right? So the purpose of this parable is to emphasize that you will not find rest in things. You will find rest in your relationship towards God. That is why when Jesus ended the parable in verse 21, he said, so it is for the one who continues to store up and hold possession for himself is not rich in his relationship with God. You will only find rest 
and dominion if you are rich in your relationship with God. Why is this important? Because you cannot pursue the agenda of dominion over your life. You cannot pursue the agenda of dominion over your career, over your business, until you become a new creature in Christ Jesus, until you become a new creation in the Lord Jesus Christ. There are many people that would desire dominion. There are many people in this community. We are a community of Christian entrepreneurs and professionals, and God has called us into different dimensions in the works that we do. And we desire to dominate. We desire to shine. We desire to be the city set upon a hill. We desire to be the light that will light up the world and light up where we are. That can only be possible. You can only pursue that agenda of dominion over your life, career, and business when you are a new creation in Christ Jesus. So for us to enforce, for you listening to me right now, for you right now to enforce that dominion heritage over your life in 2024, the foundation of that enforcing is the quality of your communion with the Lord. It's the quality of your relationship with the Most High God. Hear me, somebody. The level of your intimacy with God will determine your level of dominion. The level of your intimacy with God will determine the level of your dominion in career and in business. You want to dominate in that thing that you are doing by the hand of God, the favor of God, by the wisdom of God, by the spiritual resources of the Most High God. Then you need to handle your intimacy with God seriously. How intimate are you with the Lord Jesus? How intimate are you with the Holy Spirit? How intimate are you when it comes to your relationship with the Father? The Bible says in Genesis chapter 1, verse 26, then God said, let us make human beings in our image to be like us. So you can only have dominion if you are the image of God. And you can only be in the image of God if you have an intimate relationship with the Most High God. He said they will reign over the fish in the sea, the birds in the sky, and the livestock and all the wild animals on earth, the small animals that scurry along the ground. Your position among men will not play the ultimate role in your dominion. Let me say that again. Your position among men will not play the ultimate role in your dominion. It is your position with God that will play the ultimate role. Now, I have taught us many times about the relationship that exists between life-changing opportunities and relevant relationships. Knowing how to build relevant relationships with people is important, but it is not the ultimate. The ultimate is your position with God Almighty. That's why I said your position among men will not play the ultimate role in your dominion. It is your position with God Almighty. If you are going to dominate next year, if you are going to shine next year, you need to ensure that you position yourself. Let me tell you something, somebody. Personally, I have walked through doors in the international scene without knowing somebody on the other side. Until I would die, I will always say that, if you tell me, how did you get here? I will probably say, you see this door? 
Only God alone can tell me how I got inside this door. I will tell, and I will not be ashamed of it. I did not know any human being in that door. I didn't know any human being in that company, in that in that in that industry, in 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 that uh, um in, in country, wherever. Is it United States? Is it uh for, for example, I was just uh, uh I said I sent a screenshot to my wife. Somebody just reached out from nowhere and said, okay, we have a summit in in, in the United in, in in UK, in Britain. Um I think it's March. They're booking me to come and speak in March and all of that. I know nobody in that company, in that organization. I have no idea. Sometimes, actually, later, later on, I stop asking them, how did you know? How, how did you know about me? How did you find out about me? Because when you wait upon the Lord, when you position up, when you position with him the right way, when you are intimate with him, the one who created the kings, the one who owns the heart of man in his hand, the one who is in tomorrow that is today and who is still in yesterday and is today right now and is already in tomorrow where he is here right now. The one who is right now in Africa, right now in Asia, right now in Europe will orchestrate a ripple effect that will play only in your favor. Your position among men is good, but it's not the ultimate in your dominion. Your position with God is the ultimate code if you will rise in your dominion. You cannot enforce the heritage of dominion as a kingdom entrepreneur, as a kingdom professional, if you don't have a steady relationship with God. Genesis chapter 1, verse 28. Bible says, and God blessed them. And God said unto them, be fruitful, multiply, replenish the earth and subdue it, and have dominion. Then he said, and God, if you are not in God, how will he you to have dominion. If you are not with God, if you are not in God, if you are not fellowshipping with him, how will the king do that? How will the king enforce the dominion of heritage in your career and business? I have said this and I will say it again. God has massive interest in that your career and business. Dangerous, massive interest. God wants you to so grow in your career and in your business in his name that you begin to represent him as he begins to raise you. God understands that for his kingdom to be recognized, for his name to be glorified, they need to see you rise with authority. They need to see you rise in wisdom. They need to see you rise with results. They need to see you do that. When I was praying for my 2024, I contacted a revelation and I began to declare. And I was declaring and I said, I am a man under the authority of Adonai. Therefore, my life and career in 2024 will show proof that I am under the authority of the King of Kings. I am a man, I am a boy under the authority of the King that created every other thing. Therefore, my life and my career and my business in 2024 will show proof that I am a man under the authority of the King of all creation. It is one of my prophetic words for next year. When anything begins to happen, I'm not, I'm not going to bother about what is going wrong. But there's one thing I have caught in the place of prayer, in the place of revelation. I am a man. I have built my career. I have built my business. Everything that I do is under the authority of Jehovah. Therefore, whatever orchestrated or whatever the enemy is trying to orchestrate against my life and whatever concerns me, it cannot stand and it cannot come to pass because it is. And I operate 
under the authority of the almighty God. That was what happened to David. David went on to Goliath and said, look, look, you may come against me with sword and, you are, and, and, and all your machinery, but I am a man under the authority of the Lord God of Israel. Therefore, I come against you in the name of the God which I am under his authority. And let me tell you something, when you genuinely know your God, when you have genuinely encountered your God, when you are making the kind of declaration, you know the kind of God that is backing you. You know that there is a God backing you, standing behind you, standing behind your career and business like a mighty, terrible warrior, a that no system, no individual can conquer him. Enforcing heritage or dominion. I don't know about you as we get ready to pray. But hey, I want you to pray with this mindset. 2024 is designed. I've taught you guys this. See, there is no year God create for somebody and say, this will be a bad year for A, B, or C. No, no, no. There is no year. The only person that orchestrates a year to be bad is the devil because his job is simple. Kill, to steal, and to destroy. He is still doing that and he will do that till the end of the world. That is why People always have battles coming to them, challenges and difficulties. But they that are in the name of the Lord, they that have made the name of the Lord as their refuge and their high tower, they will stand tall when the devil orchestrates whatever he's trying to orchestrate. Hear me, somebody. In the kingdom, in the kingdom, if you have only knowledge in the kingdom, if you have only knowledge in this our kingdom, in the kingdom of God, and if you say you are, you are somebody of the kingdom, if you have only knowledge, if you have only money, and you have only people around you, oh, my uncle is this, my uncle is that, oh, my wife, my, my husband, my this, my that, if you have only that, you will not have dominion. Dominion without power, authority over spirit is not complete dominion. Let me say that again. Dominion without power and authority over unclean spirit, over evil spirit, over any spirit that is not of God is not complete dominion. That's why I have seen many people crash. They make all the money and they spend it on sickness. They make all the money and they spend it on troubles here and there. The enemy orchestrates all types of troubles. You see people, even though it's about coming, it disappears, niche success syndrome. Even though every time they are almost about to get married, marriage doesn't hold. It's about to get a job, something happened. When they start a business, almost about to start making money in that business, business falls. They are, they are always almost, 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 almost all will never kill a bed. One of the things happening is that people like that, they have, they, they have just head knowledge. They have just people, but they lack the power and the authority over spirit. Your dominion in this life is not complete if you don't have power and authority of a spirit. Life is spiritual and strategic, as I always say. That's why in this community of kingdom entrepreneurs and professionals, we take time, I take time, and I teach you guys on the strategic perspective of the marketplace. For five days last week, we were teaching about how to build wealth and to the seven powers of Creating in the marketplace and winning as a professional. Taught you how to anticipate next year strategically and things to do business-wise and career-wise to win. It is good. Now we are handling the other part that many people do not know and they don't understand. When you have authority over spirits, your dominion is complete. 
you can guarantee your dominion. And that's why we are here to pray for the next three days. Send prayers ahead of us in the whole of 2024 and authority and enforce dominion spiritually. And that dominion will in turn manifest physically in our 2024. In the kingdom, as people of the kingdom, if you have only a knowledge, you have only mental intelligence, it's important. I believe in mental intelligence. I read books like 30 books a year. I read books. I am a consultant. I am a strategist. I believe in mental intelligence. I believe in building strategy, building action plans, building this and that and all of that. But when I'm done with that, I drop the laptop, I drop all the paperwork and I enter in the place of prayer and I call upon the name of my God. There are two types of people in the marketplace. Hear me very well. There are two types of people in the marketplace. There are people that when they face a problem, all they do is they come and crack their head. They come and crack their head and go through challenges and begin to find out and ask of friends and all of that. But there are another group of people that when they face a challenge in the marketplace, when they crack their head, they now go to the altar. I'm turning this way because my prayer altar is this way. So don't mind. Then I go to the altar and they lift up holy hands. And maybe they can begin to sing. My daddy, my daddy, your boy is singing. You surrender to the king. You begin to sing to your daddy who is on her. You begin to worship to the ultimate king. You begin to worship to the one that when he shows up, that situation will be handled. You begin to worship the one that he will give you ideas and begin to speak to you in the prophetic or in whatever way and begin to tell you, okay, do this instead of this. And you come out of that challenge as a winner, as a warrior. And sometimes they begin to wonder, how did he survive this? How did she survive this? No, 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 they don't understand. You have a place where you go to and force dominion spiritually. Somebody don't enter next year empty-handed. Don't enter next year. You don't enter next year the same way. I'm taking time to charge you up. I'm taking time to open you this revelation to prepare your spirit. And we begin to pray. And we begin to pray. You are not praying and feeling as if, you know, how do I say this? Eh? You are not praying with younger. Uh, Cameroonian, so those are Americans here in the in the call. Nyanga means you're you not praying with, with the other call Nyanga in, in English. You're not praying and doing girls and boys. You are praying and you don't care who is watching or whatever is going on because you are in the spirit and you are arranging things and you're balancing things and you're correcting things and you're customizing your year. You're you, 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 you telling the devil and to him where he belongs and you're planting the things that you want to see happen in your life because the Bible says that the of life and death lies in the tongue and the Bible says that whatever you on earth will bound in heaven whatever you permit on earth will be permitted in heaven therefore if you don't speak in the place of prayer your career will remain the same your business will remain the same your life will remain the same you will desire, but you will never see it manifest. There are many people that desire. There are many people that dream. There are many people that have uh, visions of what they want to do in their careers and businesses, but the manifestation, the exploit of that which they seek to see never really comes to pass. Oh, somebody, you need to do it different this year. You need to do it different this year. Come on, Holy Spirit. The Holy Ghost is baptizing some people right now. The Holy Spirit releasing grace upon some people right now. Grace for dominion is coming upon some people right now. In the name of Jesus. Somebody hear me. Hear me and hear me very well. Do you know why the enemy will do anything? Let me tell you. If you are here and you struggle to pray, you struggle to study the Bible, let me tell you that the devil will do anything to detach you from having intimacy with God. The devil will do anything to detach you from having intimacy with God. 
from spending time to pray, from spending time mm -hmm. in place of speaking the word and knowing the ways of the Father. That's why you find it difficult to pray. That's why you find it difficult to study. That's why. Because he knows that as long as he keeps you detached from having that intimate relationship with the Father, he will maneuver you. He will do you. He will, he, oh, oh, he will trouble you. He will trouble you. He will trouble you. But by the spirit of the most high God, receive grace, receive grace to pray, receive grace, receive grace to study the word, receive grace to grow in your fellowship with the, with the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. Let me tell you something. The moment your relationship with God is struggling, you will struggle to have dominion. The moment your relationship with the king starts struggling, you will struggle to have dominion. You will struggle to have dominion. You will struggle to dominate. The moment your relationship with the father is struggling, you will struggle to have dominion. Sometimes success before man can fool you to think you have dominion. Many people, because people are hailing them, hailing them, you begin to feel that you have dominion. No, 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 no. True dominion is measured by the quality of your relationship with the father. That's true dominion. Judges chapter 5 verse 13. Write this scripture down and go pray with it. Judges chapter 5 verse 13. It says, then he made him that remained half dominion over the nobles among the people. When I read this scripture, I screamed. Then he made him that remained half dominion over the nobles among the people. When you have dominion over nobles, Imagine that God has so given you dominion that when you speak, the governor of your state listens. The governor of your city listens. Dominion over nobles. Dominion over nobles. When God wants to change your life, he will grant you dominion over nobles. When if you have dominion over poor people, you will not really get anything. Dominion doesn't mean you, 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 you rule over people. Though. Dominion means that you command influence. Respect, honor before people. Said he made him that remained have dominion over nobles among men, have dominion over your boss, have dominion over relevant people in the society, dominion over people that when they endorse you, your career begins to rise, your business begins to rise unto the glory of God. And the B part of that verse says, the Lord made me have dominion over the mighty. Oh, somebody, you're going to pray, Father, make me to have dominion over the nobles and the mighty in 2024 in the name of Jesus. When you have dominion, when you have that respect and that influence over the nobles and the mighty, your gift will be celebrated. Your skill will be celebrated. What God has invested into you will be celebrated. We'll be celebrated. We'll be celebrated. When certain men, I remember one time, one time, American government invited me to go pick in one of their projects in one African country. When I was done, they paid me in dollars. It was millions in Cameroon francs. I was like, my goodness. When a mighty man pays you, when a noble man pays you, the money makes sense. When a peasant pays you, the money doesn't make sense. The Bible says, Judges 5 verse 13, then he made him that remained have dominion over the nobles among the people. And then the beeper said, the Lord made me have dominion over the mighty. Imagine you have dominion over the ministers in your, in, in your industry. Let's say you have somebody here and you deal in women affairs, women empowerment, and you have dominion. When you speak, the minister of women affairs listen to you. When you speak, the director of UN women listen to you. When you speak, the uh, uh, lady of the World Bank listens to you. When you speak, people who are mighty and noble and command authority listen to you. You think your career can never be the same? No, 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 no. You think your business can never be the same? No, 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 no. It can never, can never remain the same. Oh, Father, make me to have dominion by your grace. 
Help me, grant me the grace to have dominion over the noble and the mighty in 2024. That will be somebody's prayer point. You have struggled for so long because the people who are seeing what you are doing, people who are recognizing your gifting and your skills and expertise are not mighty men, are not mighty women, are not noble men, and are not noble women. Ah, somebody you are contacting that grace. I know what it means to be to, to be honored and to be paid and to be celebrated by mighty men and noble men. Ah, I have I have experienced as little touch of that ah, by the authority of the Most High God and by the privilege of that grace. Ah, let that grace come upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. Ah, oh my goodness, that grace is coming upon somebody right now. In the name of Jesus. Hear me very well. There is a strong mutual benefit that exists when you have fellowship with God. There is a strong mutual benefit that exists when you have fellowship with God. One of those benefits that rest upon you is dominion. There is a strong mutual benefit that exists when you fellowship genuinely with God. When you live a life that is totally submitted to the Most High God. When you live a life that is for the glory of the Most High God. One of the benefits that rest upon you is the benefit of dominion. The Bible says in Psalms 8 verse 6, you have made him to have dominion over the works of your hands. God can only make you to have dominion over the works of your hand if you are in the place of fellowship, if you are submitted to him, if you live for him, if you live a righteous life, a life of purity, a life of holiness unto him, he will grant you dominion over the works of his hands. He will grant you dominion over the works of his hands. One thing I know that God told me, that's why I... Till now, till Jesus comes, I will never worry and regret if certain opportunities don't come to me because I refuse to do something ungodly. I will never worry about that. And I have lost opportunities because, you know, I refuse to do certain things that are ungodly. I, I am God settled that long ago. And all I'm asking for is grace. Grace to live that way because God told me, so, as long as righteousness as long as justice is the foundation, the foundation of your career, the foundation of your business, the foundation of your life, I, God, will lift you. I, God, will lift you. As long as the spirit of righteousness, the spirit of purity, the spirit of holiness, the spirit of living a life that brings glory to my name and submits to me, I, God, will lift you. I, God, will lift you. I have made up my mind. I prefer to please God than to please man. I prefer to please God than to please man. I was, there is no day that I ever have a problem with my wife, God being my helper, that I was cheating and having a side chick. Do you know why? Apart from her, before I was ever marrying her, I already had a, a, an understanding with God that as long as I live in purity and holiness and righteousness by his help and under his grace, he will do business with me in career and business. He will lift me and grant me influence in the work that I do unto the praise of his glory. That one is a clear understanding and covenant with God. There is a strong mutual benefit that exists when you have fellowship with God. There are many of those fellowship, many of those benefits, but one of those that we're talking about today is the benefits the benefits of dominion. You want to win next year? One of the key things you need to have is dominion. For many people, according to God's agenda, they are supposed to operate like kings. Many of you listening to me. According to God's agenda right now, you are supposed to operate like kings. According to the plan of God over your life right now, you are supposed to. Or pray like a king. You are supposed to be a mighty man, a mighty woman, a noble man, a noble woman. So you're supposed to be a man and a woman with dominion, but you are operating like a slave. You are operating like a beggar. You're operating hand to mouth because you are not genuinely connected to your source. You are not genuinely connected to the Most High God. You are, you, you are genuinely plugged in to the one that can grant you dominion over those challenges that you are facing, over those obstacles stopping you from advancing forward in what you desire to do as far as your career and your business is concerned. 
You're supposed to be a king. You're supposed to be a queen. You are, you are an heir of God. You are a joint heir with Christ Jesus. That is your heritage. That is who you are. That is why God created you. To rule and to win and to shine. To be the light of the world, the salt of the earth, and the city set upon a hill that cannot be hidden. That, that is who you're supposed to be. But that is changing in the name of Jesus. Anybody here living life like a beggar? Anybody here living life like a slave? Anybody here living life that is not what destined, what God destined you to be? The authority of his word and by the authority of his killing over my life, I decree and I declare that you are breaking forth in the name of Jesus. You are breaking forth in the name of Jesus. Any power that has held you back in sport, I enforce the heritage of dominion and I decree you are moving forward in the name of Jesus. Let me tell you something. One thing that I know that God uses me for is declaration. Prophetic declaration. One thing I am very sure that I have seen God or not. Sometimes I may not do one on one, but when I declare, I know I have seen God work in that dimension. I will declare again. If there is anybody here that you are not yet manifesting and operating and do and, and making exploits in a way that God destined you to be, and there is a power, and there is a force, and there is a habit, and there is anything that is not of God holding you back and putting you in one place, the authority of God and by the spirit of the most high God, I decree and I declare. Let you go in the name of Jesus. I command you to break forth in the name of Jesus. In 2024, you will operate in dominion in all areas of your life. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Lastly, and then we pray. Lastly, and then we pray. You are dominion in career and business. Is inadequate if it does not come from the place of having fellowship with God. Your dominion in career and business will be inadequate if it does not come from the place of fellowship with God. When you have fellowship with God, you become the extension of God. God can pass through you and begin to do things and begin to manifest in different areas of your life because you have become an extension of him. The Bible says that Christ in God and we are in Christ and Christ is in us. We become the extension of him. The Bible says that he that is united, he that is joined with the Lord, when you are joined with someone, you become an extension of him. This is why my wife can operate my account because we are joined together. He becomes an extension of me. When you are united with God, you become an extension of God in that career. You become an extension of God in that business. And that is why you have to do it according to the ways of God. And when you become an extension of the most high God, you begin to operate like a God. The Bible says, for ye are God. Ye are God. That's why God created you with the mandate to dominate and with the heritage to dominate. Let me tell you something. There is no nation on earth. There is no nation on earth that I cannot enter. It's not because I've gone there. I say this based on where I am standing with God. I say this based on where I am operating with God. One thing I don't bother about is will I have money or not? If I don't have now, it is very certain that I will have tomorrow. Guarantee certain. Based on where I stand. With the one that said that he will supply all my needs according to his riches and glory. Based on where I stand with the one who said that whatever I find to do will prosper. And I know that the one who said that is not a man that he should lie and he cannot change his mind, to, his mind tomorrow. The one who said that, I know that he is true, he is faithful. And I know that the foundation of his throne is righteousness and justice. That is the one who said that. And I choose to believe him every day and every time. And I thank goodness that in my time with him, I have seen him do things that I cannot do in my life. Yeah. I've seen him lift me in career and business in a way that I did not know that I would get here. 
Somebody even wrote me today. One of the last WhatsApp messages I read, I wish I could share that message, but somebody wrote me today. Long time, somebody from long time when I was growing up, so I think he just stumbled on me or somehow. I said, is that you? Is it the same joy better that I used to know? Oh, yes. I, I have received this kind of question many times. Do you know why? I am a kid born out of wedlock. I am a kid who was always last in class. They considered he, you know, I was supposed to end up being a carpenter because since I was always last in class, they didn't deem it necessary for me to go to secondary school. You see, I, I, I am where I am. I, I had so many reasons not to be where I am. I have so many reasons not to speak to great people I speak to. I have so many reasons not to advise CEOs and company owners and, and government leaders. I have, I have so many reasons not to be here, not to speak to you. But there is one thing I know that when you encounter God and you work with God, one of the things that happen is that God changes your identity. One of the things that is certain when you genuinely walk with God is that he changes your identity. When Saul encountered Jesus, what happened? His identity was changed from Saul. Paul. And here he is the man that wrote majority of the, the, the New Testament. When the woman with the issue of blood encountered Jesus, before she encountered Jesus, she had hemorrhage. And after she encountered Jesus, her identity was changed and she was healed and made whole. When the leper who came to Jesus and said, Lord, if you are willing, cleanse me. Before she encountered Jesus, she was a leprous person. But after she encountered Jesus, Jesus said, I am willing to be cleansed. After that, his identity was changed. Nobody genuinely fellowships and encounter God that remains the same. One of the outcomes, one of the outcomes of encountering God and fellowshipping with him is transformation. And for us who have made our mind that we are kingdom entrepreneurs and professionals, there needs to be a change of identity in the works of your hands. It needs to be a change of identity in your finances, a change of identity in career, a change of identity in business. Let nobody fool you. I have had the privilege to experience certain things, and I will keep saying this. There is nobody at the top of the world that is not backed by a spirit. Nobody. Nobody. From Cameroon to Nigeria to South Africa to all these nations I've been to. Sometimes I'm good at discerning. Sometimes I have, I, I have heard people say, I, I have seen certain things. There is nobody at the top who is not backed by a spirit. Nobody. And you cannot stay at the top for so long if you are not backed by a spirit. One thing I discovered so long, because competition is high, people are jealous. People go to native doctors, uh, uh, and they call it six societies to pull you down so they can become the light because they want people to see. It's time to pray. Are you ready to pray? If you're ready to pray, comment. It's time to pray. It's time to pray. Facebook, YouTube, it's time to pray. I took time to minister, and as I was ministering, God was ministering to some people. Grace came upon some people. Grace for dominion, grace for lifting, grace for new ideas, uh, grace for favor came upon some people. You know that God does not only do things when, 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 when prophecy is going on or when we are praying, when his word, as long as his word is being ministered in truth and in spirit, God begins to work on people. He begins to address certain cases. That's why it's good to be attentive and genuinely connected when his word is coming up because he does nothing without his word. His word can bring transformation. It's a two double-edged sword that will always create that transformation. It's time to pray. Get ready to pray. Just open your mouth where you are and begin to thank God. Just begin to thank God. Begin to thank God. 
Open your mouth where you are. Begin to thank God. on Unmute your max. Everybody begin to pray. Be in the mode of prayer. If you are lying on your bed, for those are in Cameroon, and it's very early in the morning, leave your bed. Wake up from your bed. Get up. Get up. Go ahead and begin to pray. Go ahead and begin to pray. Go ahead and begin to pray, somebody. Go ahead. Begin to thank God. Begin to appreciate Him. Begin to appreciate Him. Father, we appreciate You. Jehovah God, we appreciate You. King of glory, we appreciate You. Come on, somebody, give him thanks. Uh. Come on, somebody worship him. Uh. Come on, somebody give him praise. Uh. Come on, somebody go ahead. Uh. On Facebook, on YouTube, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Lord, we bless you. 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 Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Thank you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hear me clear for it. Gladys, Gladys. That says there will be a turnaround, but hold on to me and wait for my time plan. There will be a turnaround, yes, but it will happen at my own time. Your job is to hold on to me and do your part. Hold on to me and do your part. There will be a turnaround, yes. It's guaranteed. It's guaranteed. But it will happen at the time of the king. It will happen at the time of the great one. Your job is to hold on to him. Your job is to wait upon him. The turnaround can happen in January. It can happen in February, March, April, May. What? <laughs> your assurance, your, your, your resting assurance should be that he has something great in store for you. And the good news is, anything that you think that you are you want God to do, God knows what is best for you times 1,000. Everything I have ever taught, that is what I want. Oh, Father, this will change me. This, oh, God, oh, this testimony will change my life. God has always done opposite and even some better than what I was expecting. That is your word, Gladys. There will be a turnaround. Write that down. There will be a turnaround. But hold on to me. Hold on to the Lord. It will happen at my own time. It will happen at my own time. Next prayer point. You're going to pray. You're going to pray a, a prayer of thanksgiving. You're going to pray, Father, thank you for the heritage of dominion you have given me in the name of Jesus. Remember, this day one, we are praying for, we're praying and enforcing the heritage of dominion in 2024. So you're going to pray, oh my God, thank you for the heritage of dominion you have given me in the name of Jesus. Thank you for the heritage of dominion you have given me in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and begin to pray. 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 Thank God for the heritage of dominion. Thank you, Jesus, for the heritage of dominion. Thank you. 
In the name of Jesus, we're going to pray. Prayer point number two, you're going to pray. It's from Psalm 72 verse 8. The Bible says in Psalm 72 verse 8, the Bible says, He shall have dominion also from sea to sea and from river to the ends of the earth. And he shall have dominion also from sea to sea, from the river to the ends of the earth. Dominion in one place doesn't make sense. Dominion in your village will not help you. Dominion in your city will not help you. Dominion in your country alone will not help you. You need the dominion, the grace of dominion, that when you step foot anywhere in any country, you dominate. There is a scripture for that. And he shall have dominion from sea to sea. There are many people that have traveled to new countries and they are still struggling. They have traveled to new locations and they are still struggling. They have not gone to wait upon the Lord and contact the grace for dominion for that territory. In every new locality, in every new territory, there is a, there is a principality that you need to overcome. People don't know that. I never go to, if any time I go to a new country or a new city and I'm supposed to stay there for a couple of weeks, the first thing I do is three days fasting and prayers and establish my dominion in that place. You just enter a new country, you start doing things, lack of spiritual intelligence. Know this from today. Know this from today. If you go to any place to go and do business, career, anything, if you are staying there more than three days, take some time and pray. Look for a scripture, stand upon it, and say, Lord, you have said in your word that I shall have dominion also from sea to sea and from river to the ends of the earth. Then you begin to enforce that scripture. Some of you don't know where opportunities will come next year for you to go. You need to send prayers of dominion ahead. So you're going to pray, Lord, anywhere I go in 2024, I will dominate in the name of Jesus. Anywhere I go in 2024, I will dominate in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. The prayer is in the comment section. The prayer is in the chat box. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Pray that prayer, somebody. If you are in a new country, if you are in a new country, pray that prayer for you. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. I anyway, I go in anyway, I go in I would dominate in the name. Eka rabasu kada 
in the name of Jesus, I decree and I prophesy into your life into your career and into your business. According to Psalm 72, verse 8, you find yourself Jesus. in 2024, you will dream it in the name of Jesus. Anywhere you find yourself in 2024, you will dominate in the name of Jesus. Even in the same place where you are right now, if you have been struggling by the reason of this grace of dominion, by the reason of this heritage of dominion, by the spirit of the most high God, I decree and I declare, you will dominate in the name of Jesus. We subdue every power. We subdue every system. We subdue every unclean structure that has resisted your rising. In the name of Jesus, the Bible says, at the mention of the name of Jesus, every nation, power, and every tongue shall confess. I decree and I declare that every power back in the name of Jesus, you will dominate according to the word of the Lord in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Who is this person called Chris? I see a name, just Chris. Chris, Chris, where are you? Where, where's your present location? Can you unmute? Can you talk where you are? I don't know where you are. But I see movement. Yes, doctor. I'm, I'm in Yaoundé. Is that the Chris I know? Yes. Okay. I see movement. But I also had dominion. Movement, dominion. Whatever move that you need to make, whatever move that the Lord has prepared that you need to make that will establish your dominion now, you will make that move and your dominion will be established in the name of Jesus. And I decree and I declare where you are right now, whatever force that has resisted you, I enforce your dominion heritage in the name of Jesus. But whatever movement, whatever move that needs to happen for your dominion to be enforced in 2024, it will happen and it will be successful to the praise of his glory in the Jesus. I therefore release the grace for speed. It will happen very fast. It will be effective and it will be successful in the name of Jesus Christ. No obstacle from the pit of hell uh, shall disrupt that movement uh, in Jesus' name. Uh, amen. It is done and you will testify in Jesus' name. Uh, thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Raymond. Ndansi Raymond. Ndansi Raymond. The Lord the Lord is going to take you forward. The Lord, by his grace and by his hand, will take you forward in 2024. The Lord, by his favor and his hand, will take you forward in 2024. Um, Raymond, I'm I, I am led to ask this. If you can talk, what is your major goal as far as your career is concerned? Raymond, are you there? I'm there, sir. What, what is the major goal? What is your desire 
what's the hard desire you have regarding your career? To be a global a global speaker, professional speaker. Where are you based right now? I'm in Douala. Mm, okay. Thank you. God is going to move you forward. God is going to orchestrate a situation that will move you forward. How Amen. whatever that what whatever that forward means, I have no idea. I don't know what, what he means, but there's gonna be a move forward. Thank you, Lord. And that grace, that grace, that grace is coming upon you. Lift up your hands in the name of Jesus. Lord, Amen. in the name of Jesus. Let the grace, let that grace to move forward come upon him right now in the name of Jesus. Let that Amen. grace come upon him right now in the name of Jesus. Any Amen. obstacle that has been designed by the enemy to stop him from moving forward next year, I remove that obstacle in the name of Jesus. Whatever Amen. storms, I yes, whatever storms, unnecessary storms, the storms that you face this year will not follow you next year. What happened this year? Yes. What happened this year? Ramon, what, what happened to you this year? Uh, actually, I cannot quite remember. But I, the storm that followed that followed you this year will not take will not follow you next year. Whatever acted as a storm, whatever acted as a distraction, whatever acted as pain. That what I mean by storm, but whatever acted in a way that reduced your speed of moving forward. It will not follow you next year. Mm -hmm. did, did, did anything in particular happen? Mm, not at all, but throughout this year, I've been struggling to take the career to a higher height. Studying, but sometimes I face uh, financial difficulties and things like that. That storm, storms cause delays, storm cause losses. Storm, it may not be pain, but storm, it could be financial storm. It could be just a storm of no recognition, obscurity, totally lost. But whatever that storm is that negatively affected your career, that you did not experience the progress that you desired. That storm will not follow you into next year in the name of Jesus. I curse that storm in the name of Jesus. I arrest that storm in the name of Jesus. You will move forward next year in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank okay. you. It's done in Jesus' name. And you will testify. You will see Amen. what the Lord will do. Amen. You will see what the Lord will do. Next prayer point. Let's pray, people. Let's pray. We're going to pray a very serious strategic prayer. Now, we're going to pray a prayer from Psalm 72, verse 14. Now, the Bible says, he will redeem their life from oppression. That's the first thing we're handling. Oh, Lord, honor your word in my life. Redeem me and grant me dominion of any form of oppression next year. In the name of Jesus, whatever oppression, whatever oppression, that anything that oppressed you this year, anything that is oppression is anything that stops you from moving forward. It oppresses you. Sometimes even bring pain, headache, uh, uh, um, depression. Your heart is broken. Depression, oppression. It, it could be somebody oppressing you at work. It could be uh, witches and wizards, whatever. I don't care whatever the form is, but you are going to pray that the Lord will honor his word. In Psalm 72 verse 14, which says, he will redeem their life from oppression. Oh Lord, honor your word in my life. Redeem and grant me dominion in over any form of oppression in 2024, 
in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Begin to pray that the Lord will redeem you and then oh, grant God. you dominion. Oh, the Lord will redeem you oh, and grant you dominion. Word. Go ahead and begin to pray. Go ahead and begin to pray. No more oppression. No more oppression. In the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Come on, somebody 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 in the name of Jesus, I decree and I prophesy in 2024 the lord will redeem you from any form of oppression in the name of jesus the bible says in psalm 72 verse 14 he will redeem their life from oppression in 2024 i decree and i declare god will honor his word in your life redeem you from any form of oppression in the name of jesus the lord will honor his word in your career redeem the career from any form of oppression in the name of Jesus. The Lord will honor his word in your business. Redeem your business from any form of oppression in 2024 in the name of Jesus. I arrest every oppression over your life right now. Every oppression over your life right now. Let it give way in the name of Jesus. Oppression of sickness, give way. Oppression of disease, give way. In the name of Jesus. The oppression of lack, the oppression of poverty, the oppression of rejection, the oppression of stagnation, the oppression of witches and wizards, the oppression of family owners. Where in the name of Jesus, the oppression of principalities and powers, in the name of the King of Kings, let every oppression give way. Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, rise up, rise up, lift up your hands, sir. Lift up your hands, sir. In 2024, in short, your deliverance start today. But in 2024, in 2024, the Lord is redeeming you 
from the question of two things. Number one, jealousy. Number two, obscurity. The Lord is redeeming you and granting you dominion over the oppression of jealousy at your workplace, over the oppression of obscurity in your career. In the Jesus, in Jesus' name, next and mighty people will notice you in the name of Jesus. By the grace of God coming over your life right now. By the grace of God coming over your career right now. Mighty men and noble men and kings and queens will notice you in the name of Jesus. I silence every evil orchestrated jealousy against your life, against your career. In the name of Jesus. I every situation to work to get for your good in Jesus name thank you father thank you holy spirit in the name of Jesus it's a new dawn you will see before the year end before this 31st you will see the impact of the prayer that just happened and then it will give you a sign of what is going to happen next year. In Jesus' name, Father, take the glory. Father, take the glory. Next prayer point. This prayer point is still from that Psalm 72, verse 14. The Bible says, he will redeem their life from oppression and fraud and violence. And the fraud. Remember this day one, we are enforcing, we are enforcing the heritage of dominion. So that when you enter next year, whatever challenge that comes your way, there is already a, a supernatural advantage that is going to orchestrate you to dominate and shine in the name of Jesus. The Bible says he will redeem their life from oppression and the fraud and violence. So you're going to pray. Oh Lord, follow your word in my life, career, business, redeem and grant me dominion over any form of violence. No violence will destroy me. No violence will destroy my career. No violence will destroy my business. Spiritual violence, physical violence. Lord, grant me dominion. Lord, redeem me from that violence in the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody, open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to enforce that dominion. Begin to enforce that dominion. Go ahead and begin to pray. Go ahead and begin to pray. Go ahead and begin to pray. Come on, somebody pray. Come on, somebody pray. Lord, honor your word. Honor oh, your God. Redeem my life. Redeem my life. Redeem my life. Redeem my life of violence. Redeem my career from violence. Redeem my business from violence. In the name of Jesus. And the command of the king. 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 My father, my mentor, in God's glory, redeem my life from violence in 2024. Redeem my career and business from violence in 2024. Redeem my family from violence in 2024. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, my family is redeemed from any form of violence in 2024. In the name of Jesus. My career, my business is redeemed from any form of violence in 2024. In the name of Jesus, it's a command that's so good. It's a command that's so good. Violence shall be far from me. What shall be far from me? In the name of Jesus. Jesus. 
in the name of Jesus, I decree and I prophesy in 2024, no violence shall come near you in the name of Jesus. The Lord will show up for you and honor his word and redeem you, redeem career, redeem business, redeem your family, redeem all that concerns you from any form of violence in 2024 in the name of Jesus. In 2024, the Lord will vindicate you from any form of violence. In 2024, the Lord will preserve you from any form of violence in the name of Jesus. Violence shall be far from you in Jesus' name. Violence shall be far from you in the name of Jesus. Violence shall be far from you. Thieves will not break into what is yours. The Lord will release his angels to take charge of what concerns you in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Next prayer point. You're going to pray it. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 57, the Bible says, But thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. So you're going to pray, I stand by authority. I stand by my authority in the Lord Jesus Christ. And I declare victory and dominion in all areas of my life in 2024. Now, this is very important. You're going to be very specific. If you have written down your specific goals, if there are particular areas where you want to win, now you need to decree. You need to bring up those areas and begin to enforce dominion and victory that is available to you in Christ Jesus. So this is now you starting the official plan of particularly addressing those goals for next year in the name of Jesus. Any area of your life uh, that you want to see that, uh, open your mouth and begin to pray. Stand on the authority available to you in Jesus Christ. Uh, begin to declare victory and dominion uh, in all areas of your life uh, in, throughout 2024 in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead. On mute yourself and begin to pray. 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 Uh, in Jesus. Come on, somebody prophesy. The power of life and death life in your tongue. Come on, prophesy. Come on, prophesy. Come on, declare. Declare. Jesus, I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I
in the name of Jesus, is the commander Sokoto Sakata, is the Bala Sokoto Zibe de Zikata, a doina. You will walk in victory in 2023 in the name of Jesus. Uh, Lidiana, you will walk in victory in 2023 in the name of Jesus. Uh, Andrea, you will walk in victory in 2023 in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, Anybody taking a fresh start? Anybody doing a new start next year, like moving to a new location or starting a business? I hear the Lord says he is granting you supernatural victory in the name of Jesus Christ. He is granting you supernatural victory in the name of Jesus Christ. Kabbalah, thank you, Holy Spirit. Where you have been for so long, and it is like you have been lost and you are nobody in 2024. The Lord is granting you victory in the same place in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is using that same place as your springboard to greater height in the name of Jesus Christ. Let me say that prophecy again. In the same place where you have been rejected, in the same place where you have been despised, the Lord is going to grant you victory in that same place. And the Lord is going to use that same place as the springboard for your rising, as the springboard for your new levels. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Just open up your mouth, somebody, and begin to thank him. Begin to appreciate Thank the Lord for victory, for enforcing your dominion next year. 
Go ahead and just appreciate the Lord. Appreciate the Lord. Appreciate the Lord. Just say, Father, thank you. Just say, Lord, thank you. Appreciate God. Appreciate God. Appreciate God. Appreciate God. Father, thank you, Lord, for the Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for being so faithful. Thank you for your words. Thank you for leading us. Thank you for your presence. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for taking over this later. Thank you, Lord, for your present take the glory in jesus name amen and amen and amen Praise God. Day one started on a fireful note. Who want to test it? If you had special encounters in the chat box, just write encounters. We will not share. Just write encounters. Just, just return the glory to God. It's a, it, it's, it's a declaration that you will not remain the same. If you had an encounter, you, you had an, 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 an anointing come upon you, grace come upon you, come on somebody. God was doing something. I know that God was doing wonderful things. God was releasing grace and anointing. Look at all the number of encounters. That is what God is doing and God will continue to do. If you were blessed and you were blessed and you were blessed, can you type blessed in the chat box? Were you blessed with day one? And are you set? Is this, is this a good start? to prepare you spiritually for next year. God is, it means business. Oh. God means serious business with us for these three days. God means serious business. Because only the way God is prompting me to pray and wait upon him for these three days. Uh, when God, when I have a program and God is laying in my heart, to, I barely spoke to my wife, do I like to talk to her? Because I was only praying. That's what, when God means business. And it's not about, let me tell you, it's not about one-on-one -on -one prophecy. God starts moving when he's, when I start ministering. God starts moving when we are praying. That's when, even the highest time God moves. Because it will, it will start, it, God knows, God is a time manager too. If we start doing one-on-one -on -one prophecy, we will not finish with everybody, right? So always know, always get ready and know that it will God is visiting you. And there's one thing I know, one thing I prayed for is that nobody should live the same after these three days. Nobody, nobody. Let God encounter everybody at the point of their need. And I know God loves people. He loves you so much that he sent Jesus Christ to die. That's how much he loves you. So your problem is it's too small for God to, and God cares about you so much. And yes, God is rewriting your story. That, that is the spirit. And that is the faith. And that is what the Lord is, 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 is doing in Jesus' name. As you all know, and I always say it, please, it's fasting and prayer. So as we wait upon the Lord for these next three days, this is day one for most of those who are in Cameroon. And maybe, yeah. So this is day one. Please find time. All the scriptures that we always use during the ministration and the prayer points, you can add them. But this is end of this is New Year uh, prayer program. Let your goals that you have written, let your goals turn them to prayer points. Turn them to prayer points. Fireize those goals in the spirit. Fireize them in the spirit. And there's no thing on in the physical that will stop you from not achieving them. Turn them. Find time. Okay, find time. You can do. Um, this this already the morning session. If you can find time during replace, you are you are not going to eat now. For those who are working and doing business, you are no longer eating. You take your break and you pray. So take time and pray. Pray for those points. If you can do three o'clock and take fifteen minutes and pray, pray. Then before you break, you pray. Or after you break, you pray. But please be serious and take this serious, and you will see the faithfulness of God in Jesus' name tomorrow. Same time, 3.30 a.m. Cameroon time, at 30 p.m. Central time for those in North America, um, those in the UK, those in um, South Africa, Dubai, Thailand, Turkey, people from all over, convert to your local time and let's meet here again. And please, please invite people. Let 
people part of what God is doing. Invite your family members and your friends and your fellow colleagues who can be part of this. God wants to touch everybody and let us prepare for this new year together. God bless you all and do have a great time in Jesus' name and looking forward to see you all tomorrow in Jesus' name. God bless you and keep shining for the Lord.